What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can physically paint on models inside of Unreal Engine 5. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see right now, I currently have open Unreal Engine 5. And before I get into texturing, I wanna actually bring in a model into my scene that we can actually start painting on. And in order to do that, I'm gonna actually come down here, the modeling. And if you don't see this inside of your window right here, all you have to do is come up to edit, come down to plugins, and in the search bar, let me just type in model. And you wanna make sure that you have this plugin actually turned on. So it'd be called Modeling Tools Editor Mode. It's currently in beta, but this is how we can actually add different models with a lot of vertices because that's important. Then we're gonna come up here to Select Mode. I'm gonna come down here to Modeling. And then from here, I'm just gonna bring in a simple shape like a basic rectangle. And what I'm gonna do here, and this is why I wanted to use the modeling tools, we can actually add a lot of subdivision in here, which is important because when we do any type of vertex painting, the more subdivisions that you have is actually better because you can paint in more detail. And I'm gonna get started by coming down here to subdivisions. I'm gonna start by making this like 100 by 100. And then the width, you can actually see it inside the viewport here, but let's make this a little bit wider. Maybe let's just say like 500 by 500, just for this example. I'm just gonna place it in my viewport like so, and then hit complete. Then I'm gonna come back over here and hit select. Now, if I come over to like wireframe mode, which I'm gonna come over here to lit, and then I'm gonna come down here to wireframe, you can see that we actually have our plane with a lot of vertices on it. And that's very important. In previous versions, you usually had to bring in like a FBX and do it in like a DCC, like Maya or Blender or Cinema 4D. But now with the new modeling tools, we can actually just do everything inside of Unreal. So now that I have my 3D model here, the next step from here is actually I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna bring in some materials from Mega Scans. So I'm gonna come over here to Quixel Bridge. Then I'm just gonna make this larger so we can actually see what we're doing here. Then I'm gonna come over here to the lower left and I'm gonna click on this computer because these are all assets that I've actually already downloaded. And then from here, I'm just gonna find some basic surfaces. So maybe I'll start with the Tundra Mossy. I'm just gonna click on high quality I'm gonna add it to my scene. And then same thing for Clover patches. I'm just gonna add it to my scene here. I'm not picking anything in particular. I'm just doing this for example purposes. So this one, it says Mossy Stone Floor. I'm gonna add this one as well. And I think that's gonna be it because right now we can only do it with three different materials. We'll have a base and then we're gonna have two other ones that we're gonna paint with. So I'm gonna exit this out. And then if I look down here in my content browser, you can see that I have all my surfaces down here. So the next thing I wanna do is actually click on the top level surfaces here in the side of my search bar, I'm gonna type in INST for instance, because this is gonna be working with instances. And basically everything that's inside of this folder, is gonna search for the instance of it. So I have these right here, and this is very important right here. So the order of operation that I'm gonna select these in is gonna be the order of operation that I can paint. So the first one that I select, that's gonna be my base layer. And then the second one, that's gonna be my middle layer. And then the third one, that's gonna be my top layer. And so what I'm gonna do is select this one first, and then I'm gonna select the second one, and I'm gonna hold down shift and select the third one. So with these selected, we're actually gonna have Unreal Engine now create a blend material for us. And in order to do that, we gotta go back into Quixel Bridge. So I probably shouldn't have closed it out, but let's just open it back up here real quick. Make sure that I have these still selected down here like so. And all I wanna do is just select the random material here. So it doesn't matter what it is because all we wanted was access to this icon right here. So if I click on this, this is gonna open up another window that's gonna be for our blend material. So make sure you have these three selected right here, your materials that you wanna blend. Then you wanna click create blend material. And now we can exit everything back out and you can see that it made another folder for us for our blend material here. So let me actually hit save all just to save everything. And I'm just gonna actually left click and drag this onto my model here. And then I'm gonna double click on my blend material and let's get to work. So let me make this a little bit larger so we can see what's going on first. So we have a lot of parameters in here and I'm just gonna basically turn all these on. So remember, we've turned them on in the order of operation from the base layer, the middle layer and the top layer. So this will be your first one that you selected, your second one and your third one. And then we can also turn on a puddle layer as well because we can also paint in mud puddles and water puddles, which is really cool. So since I have these activated here, now I'm gonna activate these on the right as well. And then right here under blend controls, I wanna turn these on for the top layer and the base metal layer 
because if you scroll these down these are going to be controlling like the fall off and the blend them out and everything which is important once we start painting stuff on so i'm going to minimize this so we can see what's going on inside of our viewport here so let me actually make this a tad bit smaller and then over here i'm going back to select mode and i'm going to come down here to mesh paint now with mesh paint turned on i'm actually going to click on this paintbrush here and then i'm going to come all the way down here to where it says paint color now i want to hit this where it says swap paint and erase colors because when you have it on the white color that's actually going to erase it but if you have it on black this is what's going to paint it on so let's get started with our first layer right here i'm going to select the red layer so this would be one two three and i'm just going to start painting on my layer like so so i can scroll in a little bit you can actually see that we're painting on here and this is where it was important because if we don't have a lot of vertices in here each one of those dots represents another vertice, so we're not going to get a lot of detail once we start blending and stuff like that. So let me actually zoom in here a little bit, like so. And then I'm going to come over here, and we're going to look at the blending controls in which I know it's a little bit hard to see in like a 16 by 9 window, but let me actually move this over a little bit like so. I can widen this up a little bit so we can have a lot better view of our viewport here. And we're going to see how it's going to blend right here. So right here for the blend amount, let's bump this up to like five. And you can see that it like entirely engulfed the entire scene here. But if I bring this down to like 1.5, you can see along the edges, it's starting to blend a little bit better. So let me do like 1.8. And now you can start seeing it blending through our material and everything. Let me come over to two. And now you can see that we're getting a nice blend between the two materials here. Then we can actually do a fall off and this one we actually want to go in negative so let's go like 0.1 you can see that it start to decimate there let's say 0 0.05 a little bit more so this is more about just playing around with the attributes until you get something that you're happy with and then right here with blend contrast again i'm gonna go down to the decimal points you can see that we're starting to blend it a little bit more so it's just about coming in here, painting, and just playing around with these different attributes right here. And so moving on, I'm gonna come back over here and let's paint on with our second layer right here, which would be green. So if I start painting in, you can see that we're actually painting on top of that layer that we have right there as well. So it's a really basic and easy setup, especially with Unreal doing all the hard work for us. We don't have to do any blueprinting or anything like that. And we're just easily able to paint this stuff on. Now, as you can see, these textures are extremely large so there is a way that we can actually go through and tile these as well so if i come back over here to my attributes and let's come down here to where we have the base layer we'll start with this one which would be like our clover field so if you scroll down to the bottom of the base layer you'll see right here where it says base tiling and offset if i want to come down let's do like five by five let's see what this looks like in a viewport so yeah you can see that the tiling is starting to look a little bit nicer Let's scroll down to a middle layer. We can actually come down here, the middle tile, and let's see if we can view both of these at once. So I'll make this five by five as well. Yeah, you can see the brick right there. We're starting the tile. Let's do 10 by 10, something like that. Then let's scroll down to our top layer right here. Do the same thing here. Let's start with like five by five. I'm just tiling the X and the Y. And you can see that it's giving us a really nice tile in here. One of the cool things about Unreal Engine 5 automatically creating the blend material for us is that we can actually paint on mud puddles, which if I come back over here to my attributes window, make sure that I have this selected on. But if we go all the way down to the bottom, you can see that we actually have attributes for this as well. But let me show you how we could paint them on at first. So right here where it says blue, I'm actually gonna make sure I have this third box selected on. And then I'm just gonna come through and just paint it so you can see that we can actually have a puddle it's highly reflective and you know you can always come through and change the attributes on this as well so we come over here to where it says liquid opacity we could change this to like 0.1 make it a little bit more opaque change this to one make it really muddy let me go back to the default on this and we could change the liquid color as well so if i select this say you want to make it a little bit purplish click ok and again, I know this is hard to see. I'm on a 16 by nine monitor, but there we go. So you could change out your color there as well. For more videos and tips, just like the one that you saw right here, make sure you click on any of these videos all around me. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I catch you guys in the next video. I see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.